Hello, and welcome to my night channel. Well, you may hear some weird ambient noises and stuff, but that's just like I'm filming at a time when everybody's getting back from work. Stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of like a video response. To, Peter was talking about these Rough Rider Reserves and what, you know, they're big... Like, this one's supposed to be a whittler and stuff. My thought on that is that I don't do a whole lot of whittling. But, you know, you don't have to just whittle on little stuff. You can carve out totem pole eyes and stuff, and you need a big thing for that. Probably an axe. But just because a knife is called a whittler doesn't mean it's stuck to this. This is a perfect spear point blade. Get my specialized cloth for working my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it's still you know a nice drop point spear point i believe you can see some scratches on there i have been using it um but there's nothing wrong with that blade and it's thick now when it's not a split back whittler that comes back here and thins it out so that the two blades are small it's the same thickness of blade stock down here but on the knives they're smaller so over here you have let's see if I can get it to zoom in a little bit you've got two washers look right there don't look at the mat yeah stop bouncing there's two washers right here and that allows them to space it out perfectly in the middle and then down here they go with one washer but the blade stock is thinner so oops let me get this thing back and I like this and unzoom 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 you yeah so it works even though it's kind of heavy and everything it works well in the hand it's not too heavy when if you disperse it out it's not too heavy it's got a good half stop I'm not going to completely re-review it or anything I'm just saying after using it for a while and carrying it and I haven't been carrying on a slip or anything. I just drop it in my pocket. But I don't carry it as much because other knives have been taking over. But this is the only one I've got of that pattern. I, I thought about getting the razor, but I'm not. I'm not just getting them just to get the series. If you've already done that and starting to do that, then that's fine. But you're stuck with getting whatever they throw out there, whether you like it or not. Me. I gotta like this, and the, I got this because it's big. Because you don't see Whittlers this big, it, it beats out any Whittlers that I've got in size and stuff. And uh, again, you don't have to do wit just Whittling with it, you know. But these pen, you know, this pen plate is small. It does have a small blade stock, and I think it would be good on Whittling again, which. I'll say right now, I don't do a whole lot of, like this coping blade. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Yeah, they're nice. And this taper, this taper works well. And the swell, the swell works well. Swell well. <coughs> because you're, it, it swells up so it doesn't squirrel around your hand. With a smaller knife, it's got a small pen blade in it or something. You've got a tiny little thing there that if you try to do any leverage with, you can't do a lot of force. Again, this would look like it would be like you would break out for... <coughs> Sorry, I got something in my throat. A frog in your throat. You would break out for your bigger chores, you know? like That's why traditional patterns and stuff have so many different sizes and shapes and stuff like this is a Sal Valley stockman this guy up here is a copperhead I had my copperheads and I was going to do a thing about copperheads but I got some more coming in let's see there are different sizes of those too this, yeah this puppy is on the big side and that bar back I think it'll probably be pretty big large also but it looks like it's short large you know and I like the blade shape. 
I'm not, you know, if that um, hook on the back almost looks like an Emerson. I wonder if you could do that. I'm going to wind up tear my leg out or something trying it. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make a one-hand opener out of this thing. I'm trying to hook it on my pants. It works. Just rips your leg off. Yeah, don't try that at home, kids. Should be any kids walking, watching this anyway. It's not made for children. You'll get bad ideas from me. Worse than Beavis and Butthead. They'll say, Beavis and what? Beavis and Whathead? No, Butthead. All right, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say on that while I'm waiting for my... I placed a shipment over the weekend. I don't know. It hasn't, it hasn't shipped yet. As far as I can tell, today's Monday, so itching for my order, itching, itching. But yeah, I got that bar back coming in. I really like this, though. I like this one. I don't carry around in a slip. Like I said, I just drop it, drop it in my pocket, let it go. But yeah, I love this. It's got a good solid half stop on it. It's D2. Does a pretty good job. I haven't used these little blades too much. Yeah, you wouldn't necessarily need a sheath to carry it. It stands up fairly well. It is tapered, kind of sleeve boardish. This guy's smaller end, so you drop it like that. Heavier end down. All right, I'm rambling. I just wanted to put a video out, and I didn't have any new knives in or anything, so I thought I'd give like a re-evaluation of this guy. And they're not completely... It's all you want... Whatever reason you want to collect for. Like, if you want to do patterns, and you'll get into like, well, I really don't like this particular type of material, but it is one of the series. I, I do like that one, by the way. <clears throat> but yeah... I like copperheads too, by the way. It's, it's hard for me not to find an eye pattern and say, I don't I don't like it, you know. I mean, there's some that I don't think are as practical, but I still like them, you know. <laughs> like, you don't go around shaving your face as much with a straight razor anymore, but man, I like those things. And talk about cutting. Man, if you want to cut paper or cardboard, woo! A cardboard starts slowing down a razor a little bit more. It'll start getting dull. But if you've got a strop, which anybody's got a razor would know what a strop is, then boom, it's back to sharp. All right. I don't know how we got into straight razors out of that, but thank you for watching and have a nice day.